snap it. It's oh my god, it just broke. Oh, it's so brittle. On my finger. I'm on the it's gone. Right. I'm on the Top came off pretty easy. It was a plow truck, so he had a, a bin full of sand in the back and it was spilling everywhere, obviously. But overall, it's pretty clean in the back. Underneath this is super clean. Yeah, top came off super easy. The seals are still pretty decent on the truck itself. And hopefully I'm not fucking up the headliner with this table. But this all seems all right. And I didn't notice any water dripping because when I drove this home, it was raining a little bit. But it'll be nice. I'm gonna sew something up from here to that post instead of spending two or three hundred dollars on seat backs I'm gonna sew something here to here and just have it go across and then I can just take it off when I want something in the back but I'm excited it's looking good Got that to work, one side at least. This side's still not latching, but I'm not too worried about it as long as it stays up with this side. And I got the lever to work too, even. Oh. And now it's stopped again. Never mind. Nope. Oh. Just finicky. So, next step is start pulling the motor probably have to pull the radiator off pull this i'm going to try and leave as much in the engine bay as possible so it's really it's it's brake lines steering uh engine unhook the battery i mean it's it shouldn't be too complicated um just disconnect everything pull it, put it on a motor mount like that, leave it in the corner, and then hopefully start pulling the body up and getting it on that new frame.
So, mostly everything out. Watched a few videos. Figured out I didn't have to do all of this. All I had to do was pull the wires out of the ECU, but lesson learned. Um, everything's out over here. Radiator out. Everything's out over here. I just cut the exhaust down there and pulled the manifold off. Because I couldn't get that uh, the three bolts from the exhaust to the manifold off, so I just ended up pulling the manifold. Um, pretty easy. Few things I've noticed that are wrong with it, but it's not turning into a money pit yet. Not too bad. So hopefully by the end of the day today, this will be out and sitting next to that. body body out leave the tranny front diff rear axle everything in pretty much just unhook steering rack and some of the electrical stuff for the fuel pump I think body mounts I'm missing a lot of things that I'm going to figure out about, but pull the body up, roll that frame out of here, swap everything from this frame over to the new frame, replace anything that's too rough, and then roll that frame back under. Thinking about putting the engine in. in that new frame first and then trying to drop the body over the engine but that might not be possible i don't know i will think about it just thinking about it right now it probably wouldn't be horrible it's just these two bolts suck this one Kind of sucks. That's for starter, I think. Starter, starter. Those aren't too bad. This one kind of sucked. The rest were all right. This came out really easy, but this is almost impossible to get to without a... I ended up buying a... Like a 16-inch... 17-mil uh, swivel head gear wrench. And then I ended up grinding off, like, the gear end of it. On the end, like not even an eighth of an inch or like a, maybe a sixteenth of an inch probably less just because those bolts are so close to that bell housing that it the the gear wrench wouldn't fit and i couldn't get a breaker bar in there you can't fit anything in there i should have taken a picture of it it's impossible but it was not that bad in the end i ended up pulling all the flywheel bolts out from where the starter was and then I realized there's a big hole down here where you can pull stuff out from I don't know if there's supposed to be a cover for I don't know if you can see that hopefully 
a cover for this. If you know, let me know in the comments or something. But I would imagine there's supposed to be a cover for that. So that sand and salt and whatever from the roads aren't getting caught up in here. Oh, time for bed. It's took all night. But it's over now. Oh, <laughs>